Hello YouTube and welcome back to episode 2 of our March Through the Home. And uh, before I forget, I am going to go ahead and save. I'm going to override. That was a previous game that I was playing just to learn how everything worked. I still haven't figured out how everything worked, but uh, I know how enough works that we can get through this. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn here and start day 7 or turn 7. I guess in this case they are synonymous. Alright. Time to attack this facility and that base. There's nothing there so we're just gonna walk right over it and we have captured a foothold into the narrow hallway. They still have one third. Every, every one of these flags represents essentially three conflicts and you have to win all three to be in control of that area. Unless you're the first person there. If you're the first side there you capture the room whole hog and you can only attack once per turn basically so you ha it takes you three turns really to rebuild I'm right now happy with our current uh, troop levels that being said I'm gonna move this guy up and take a double check and see here 30 riflemen so we need to build another support core is what it looks like here uh, recruitment. We're going to recruit a new army. Uh, we're going to need a pair of sappers and a supply truck. Maybe even, you know what, I'm going to go with three supply trucks and uh, the rest will be light riflemen. Again, this is a support battalion or support platoon, I guess, techni more technically. Uh, we're going to create that army, and that army in two turns will be up here to help reinforce uh, that group there. I think I'm going to let them attack, and the 60 troops uh, should be enough. 60, at this point in the game, that should be enough. 60 riflemen should be enough to hold it. Uh, that being said, having a combat support engineer is never a bad idea. And then we have, yeah probably will move this army up there as well so we're gonna go ahead and end the turn move you up to staging and we're gonna go ahead and move you up to the kitchen and I like to keep this guy this area here is a central staging area because then if we need to reinforce either the kitchen or the narrow hallway, uh, we are free to do so. Uh, one of these armies, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move you and capture the pantry, storage room, utility room, whatever that building or whatever that room is. Uh, what room is that? Oh, that's narrow hallway. Box room. <laughs> we, we've captured the box room. So we've, we've got the bug problem uh, maintained or controlled, contained, I guess is the best way of putting it. Uh, Q Clonendeth do drop from Starship Troopers music. Um, that kind of has that little bit of a, a I don't want to say connotation, but yeah, as I'm playing this game, that soundtrack is definitely playing through my head. Okay, so... Now, incendiary ammo for flamethrowers, toxic ammo factory that would produce that. You know what? I think we do. It is time to build a military academy. And this will actually gain us 10 XP per turn that we can then train into or turn into new units. Uh, only 200 left. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, end the turn there. Not producing any new troops this time around. Oh, the bugs are attacking. We have to defend. 32 versus 52, or 53. Ooh, uh, what's the breakdown of the enemy units, I wonder? Does not, okay, here we go. Bug swarm number six. They got 20 times 14 they've got 200 mosquitoes and 12 groups at 20 and 200 that's 400 bugs Order 
although that is a support battalion. I'm going to go ahead and reinforce, redirect them to here. We have to defend. See what kind of missions. There's two or three different type of missions. Uh, well, before we saw the defend our outpost from attack. Uh, if you go on the offensive, you usually have to destroy their outpost. And then in a situation like this, it's capture and hold is the name of the game. Uh, or capture the flag. Uh, this is going to be very, very interesting. Hmm. Only going to have 20 seconds. And tree. Put a sapper. I'm going to go ahead and hold this. Uh, barbed wire shelter. And you can deploy a maximum of 60 troops at one time. That's going to be some major battle. You're going there. I think it's going to be worth deploying another sapper and as many riflemen as we can here. We're going to go ahead and deploy defenses and go ahead and let time run here. Say our light infantry is getting pretty well shot to pieces right now. These guys seem to be holding their own.
This could go very, very badly. Definitely an occupation of more zones than we are. Dead allies, 42. Allies on the battlefield, 45. Yeah, our light infantry is not, our light riflemen are not doing a whole lot. They're out of ammo. Supplies are on the way. I guess I should have built that up all the way up there. <laughs> the lone soldier. Supply trucks can't run over them, unfortunately. Can I keep them up? Make sure this guy's still supplied. I think they're going to win this one. Hundred and seventy four are left on the battlefield. Can they Like they're gonna win. Ah, first loss of the uh, Gores. <sighs> Remaining two groups, five groups. Yeah, definitely needed more riflemen. Dead allies, seventy. The bugs have gotten their first victory. We cannot let them have another. So until next time, see you later.